Once in a while, we get to discover certain players who have completely mastered their art. To them, the game is less of an act and more of an art. Here comes Jonathan Taylor, who is currently in the groove and enjoying every bit of the game. For him, there is zero overthinking and no hesitation whatsoever. This fantastic running back sets up his blocks as well as his electric slides in the end zone. Jonathan Taylor is definitely one star with a lot more shining to do, and we are here for it all. In the past, we've heard talks regarding his blocking and ball securing ability, but all that seems to have fueled him to be better, no matter what. In today's video, we want to discuss the real reason Jonathan Taylor is so good in the NFL. However, before we go deep into it, ensure you leave a like on this video if you happen to care about Jonathan Taylor. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 13, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment on the hidden message. Good luck! Jonathan got drafted to the Indianapolis Colts in the second round of the last year's NFL Draft. The star left Wisconsin as the player with the second highest rushing yards ever behind Dane only. Jonathan's stats have been through the roof from the very start as he racked up 1,468 scrimmage yards, plus 12 touchdowns in his rookie season. I should also add that he achieved this starting just 13 of Indy's 15 games. In fact, this year, he has an average of 5.4 yards for each carry and also holds the longest NFL run through six weeks. There is no denying the energy, passion, and talent in this running back, but then anyone who paid attention had always seen it coming. I mean, this is a player who remains the only running back in history of the NCAA to record 6,000 plus rushing yards within three years. And as if that wasn't enough, he also had a 6.7 yard average per carry for 926 attempts. Then he capped that off with 50 TDs to cement his terrific collegiate career. So all of this points to one undeniable fact, and that is, Jonathan Taylor has what it takes to be the best running back in the NFL. You already know that there is a lot of competition in front of him for such a prestigious position, but it's within the bounds of possibility. But still, one has to ask, what really sets this guy apart and makes him flourish at such a high level? Well, for one, he's not playing in a star-studded team, so he's not a player that you can blame his achievements on the teammates. For the Colts, Taylor has to put on the cape and be a full-time hero, week in, week out. Right now, he's arguably the most informed back with 488 rushing yards along with six total scores from the last five matches he's been in. With enough skill in his backpack, Taylor single-handedly drove Big Ten defenses crazy within a three-year period. That resulted in a cumulative 2,003 rushing yards. How does he manage all that? Well. He has enough strength to complete the runs, and when you combine that with a knack for making tacklers miss, then you have a total unstoppable running back. I might also add that Taylor is the sort of gentleman every team would want in their locker room, as there's never been any reason to doubt his exemplary character. Predominantly throughout his time at Wisconsin, despite his performances and jaw-dropping stats, our superstar back is not free from criticism. One major complaint has been regarding his hands and ability to catch the ball. So what did Taylor do? He worked at it. And so far, the results speak for themselves, as he has improved in that particular aspect over time. We have seen Taylor in summer workouts that are focused on helping him become better at catching passes, and the results were instant. With 26 receptions and 252 yards, plus 5 through the air touchdowns. Critics will have to find something else to criticize. During his time at the NFL Combine, people could not help but take notice of this 5'10", 226-pound man. That wouldn't be possible, especially considering that he had been the most effective tailback in college football in recent years. And in 2018, the star running back racked up 2,194 yards, 16 TDs from 307 carries. Over the years, we've known Jonathan Taylor for his effectiveness, skill, and agility. But another thing is his arsenal and consistency. As per an interview with pro football talk man Josh Alper, our runner regards his ability to produce consistently as the critical factor that sets him apart. In the interview, the man stated that the one big thing he's shown over the years is consistency. He went further to say that anyone who looks towards the next level will discover that what makes a great runner, elite runner, 
and a legendary runner is consistency. It's hard to disagree with that because every team needs a player that has the ability to show up every single Sunday, every year, and produce at the highest level conceivable. And when it comes to Jonathan Taylor, there's certainly no shortage of clips showing him do just that. Whatever it is that an NFL coach or scout wants to see, be it agility, explosiveness, speed, or all three, Jonathan Taylor is what you're asking for. During his time at the Combine, he showed all three attributes, peeling off an unwanted 17 reps of 225 pounds. Then later, he went on the tracks to show just how fast his legs could carry his new weight. And guess what? He recorded an unofficial 4.41 seconds during his initial 40 attempts. By the way, this was the fastest by a running back in that year's NFL combined. Just to blow every competition out of the water, this terrific player produced the second fastest time, which was 4.42 seconds. At this point, it was all just ridiculous. Still, in all these ridiculous records, the critics during his rookie year came at him claiming he had some ball fumbling issues. Now, this was not some kind of shocking revelation since Taylor wouldn't be the first back having that problem as a rookie. It's really something very natural because they are just getting into the big league, so it's totally understandable to be a little nervous. Anyway, since it's basically a rookie thing that can be coached up, Taylor has grown out of it, and right now he's on his way to making a genuine claim as a top running back. Besides this star's incredible physical abilities that have helped establish him as one of the most potent ball carriers in recent memory, he has the mental fortitude to keep improving. And with the wheels and his size, we just might witness him unset the likes of Ezekiel Elliott or Alvin Kamara this year. Many people might doubt this, but I think the Colts faithful and people who have watched Taylor over the years would agree with me. And with that, we bring an end to today's video. So what are your thoughts on Jonathan Taylor? Do you think he's a massive contributor to the Colts team as seen in this video? Do you agree he is one of the best running backs in the league presently? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and hit the notification bell to ensure you don't miss our next video and other videos. Thanks for watching! Until next time, keep safe!